What's up guys, I just want to give all of you a huge shout out to everyone who subscribed and showed love in my last video. Uh, I'm just so grateful, uh, I just want to say thanks. So let's just jump into the fishing tournament event. Uh, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, I know some people don't really like it because it's kind of hard to get past 300 meters, even when you're using the real stabilizers. So I'm going to give you guys some tips that's worked for me, and then we're going to do some test runs. So right now I've maxed out my hook, line, and sinker, all at level 10. And if you're getting this event for the first time, I think it's worth getting the Fishing Pro and Fishing Master set to help give you a jump start on acquiring the City and March skins, as you can see here in the guide, along with the nameplate and the avatar frame. So I only need just one more for the frame and the nameplate, but I haven't had any luck so far, so I'm going to try to get it this time around. So if you're free to play, no worries, because you can still get everything, but it will just take a little bit more time. Now, as you start filling up the guide, you can probably just depend on the free bait that you're given, and that's kind of what I've been doing recently. As for the second treasure event, once your fishing kit reaches level 25, this will activate, and for every 1500 fishing tokens you accumulate, you can hunt for treasure here, or you can wait till you have 15,000 and then just do 10 at one time. So these are some of the rewards you can get, and they're okay. Not too bad. The Mythic General Hero Shards are probably the best in this event here. So some of the tips I have before we start fishing is you want to use the treasure chart with the Horn of Poseidon in the Frosty Prospector to get as many points as you can so you can level up your hook, line, and sinker as fast as possible. And after using all of your Horn of Poseidons with the Frosty Prospector, then you can start ice fishing and just rely on the special items. Now you want to use your fishing vouchers on fishing attempts that give you a high amount of points and I'll show you guys this soon. Last but not least, you want to just do all the missions by accumulating 2000 fishing points every day and uh, this is pretty much a given so you get good rewards here. The last thing I want to show you guys is basically you can do a power cast by uh, fishing for multiple attempts. Basically it's as it sounds you just use five baits if you want to fish for five times and this kind of just makes the fishing process go by much quicker so let's do a frosty prospector fishing attempt and before we start fishing we just want to make sure we have everything selected and we have our fish selected let's just jump right into it i'll do a two times power cast and here we go So one tip I want to share with you guys is basically think of this as uh, splitting your screen in half and just sticking to one side. As you can see here, if I just leave it on the left hand side, uh, you kind of go down pretty fast and not many fish touch you. So as you can see, this is the best tip I have. So you, sometimes you'll get hit, um, but I think it's pretty luck based. and. If you see that you're about to get hit, you can quickly move to the side. So we just passed the Horn of Poseidon fish. And this is the last. There you go. And 457. So we got pretty far actually uh, by doing nothing. <laughs> and then on your way back up, you kind of have to maneuver a little bit. And get some of this fish. And get the speed ups here get more speed ups so you can just stick to the left or the right for the most part and there you go so as you can see this is the haul and we have a plus 10 percent after buying the fishing pro set and you get 1716 fishing tokens and then you can use your ice fisher voucher to get additional points so this is what i like to do if you have more than one ice fisher voucher and you used your Horn of Poseidon and in the Frosty Prospector on the first attempt and you got a lot of points. This is perfect for you guys. So let's just do that. And we have a total of 2,574 fishing tokens in the end. And voila. Now we'll do one more regular ice fishing. And we can do a three times power cast. And I'll just show you guys the same technique again. I'm playing this on my Mac, so it's a little bit different, but it's still the same technique. Stick to one side. Oh, there's a fish there. Move. 
and then you pretty much stay here let the game do the work nope dodge that one sometimes you might get unlucky and you pretty much lose three real stabilizers in a row because all the fish are close um, but you just have to be careful for that okay so I didn't get hit yet so far. I'm at 400 meters about. Okay, I got hit once. Twice. I'm looking for a crown, but I don't see it at all. Which, which kind of sucks. Okay, we hit the bottom. Now we're going to go back to the top. I mean, there's not that much good fish here, so oh, we gotta wait for that one. It's coming in dirty. Okay, catch that. As you can see, I'm just kind of sticking to one side. There you go. So I can just use my last Ice Fisher voucher, why not? And that's pretty much all for this event, really. I think it's a pretty fun event, I mean, for me, honestly. Here we can try the Sunken Treasure Hunt, and I got resources. So that's pretty much for this event. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. That is my technique. I don't think it's a secret, but it seems to work really, really well. Just leaving your... Uh, hook on one side of the screen. So that's all for this fishing tournament event and this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys on the next video